morning, it's about 5 o'clock, and uh, the ground was really hard last night. I think I woke up and rolled over at least every 30 minutes all night long. But it's a beautiful morning. You can hear the birds singing, the creek running. Part of the night was completely overcast. Part of it was crystal clear and you could see all the stars. This morning it looked like kind of a mix. A few clouds coming in. But it should still be a, a good day. Well, the sun's shining, but to the west there's a big black cloud coming in. I can hear thunder, so I better break camp get things buttoned down as good as I can before I get soaked. So I think we'll go with a cold breakfast this morning. I'll have my oatmeal in the form of a granola bar. Mm, just waiting out the rainstorm. My crowded little tarp shelter, but I'm dry. Kind of odd to have a thunderstorm at 6.30 in the morning. I hope this blows through quickly and we're sunny for the rest of the day. Sure enough, the rain hit. decided to change my route a little bit today for a couple of reasons. I'm going to try to go twice as far today than what I planned originally. Um, and then the other reason I'm leaving, going this route, is uh, I don't want to do as much cross country with all the wet vegetation. Um, I want to find a trail and stick on a trail just to stay a little bit drier today. Something of a trail here, more of a cow trail, but at least it's a trail. So today, my goal is to get beyond that furthest peak, that snow-covered one, to my campsite along some springs and along a river. That's twice as far as I planned to go today, but I think I can do it. So here's my next challenge. I want to get across this river, and uh, it's doable. I've done this numerous times before, but uh, the water is a little higher than, than usual, and it's really cold. So, rather than set up the camera, walk across, drop off my pack, come back and get the camera, and then go back again and make three trips, there's no way I'm going to do that. I'm just going to do it once. So I'll take a picture before from this side and I'll take a picture after from the other side. Call it good. Well, I made it to the middle. I've got a little ways to 
go. There's the river crossing. I made it. My legs are numb, but I made it. Okay, here's what I've been looking for. A beautiful spring coming right out of the rocky hillside. And then a series of beaver dams. Old washed out ones. somewhere down in those fir trees. Well, the weather changed again from bright and sunny to cloudy and rainy and thunder. So just as I got to camp, the place I wanted to set up camp, it looked like it was going to rain so I just hurried and put up the tarp. I'm just going to try to sleep in the hammock again tonight and uh, just to try to keep things dry. I hurried and got everything put up and then I realized it's about 1.30 and I forgot to eat lunch. So uh, better do that now. Just give you a quick tour of camp. That's what it looks like. It's camped in a bunch of aspen trees. There's the valley. There's a spring right over behind these trees. And the storm's brewing. firewood and a nice bench right by the fire. Lunch today, I have a small Snickers bar and a little bit of trail mix. good. Amazing how how fast after you eat something like this sugary, how fast your energy level pops back up. I was really dragging the last couple of hours. There's a little bit of caramel stuck to that wrapper. You got to get it. Every ounce counts. Spring water sure tastes good. One thing I get tired of besides drinking warm water is drinking water that tastes like campfire smoke. Seems like no matter how careful I am, the water still tastes a little bit like campfire smoke when I boil it. It's okay at first, but after a few days, it gets kind of old. <clears throat> had lunch and got firewood and got tarp set up, sleeping bag, hammock. Think I'm good.
wind has started to die down, so I think I can safely start this fire, especially if I keep it small. So we'll get her going. This grass, this fine grass, is uh, treated with resin from a fir tree, so it should start pretty easily. All right, this is dinner tonight. It's three ounces of flour. Some of the early pioneers, particularly the handcart company pioneers that across the plains pushing handcarts back in the mid-1800s. They ran out of food, winter was coming on, they were starving. Their ration per day was reduced to just six ounces of flour per adult man per day, and that was it. So this is three ounces. <coughs> half a ration. Well, my initial impression of ash cakes is that it's quite wasteful. To make them, you end up with a lot of flour stuck either to your hands or to whatever thing you're mixing it in. Some sticky, some dry. Anyway, you lose a little bit of flour. And I'd rather not lose any flour. You're better off to make it into a gruel, into a probably into a soup. Alright, there's the finished product. A small one. I'll sit down and give it a try. See what you think. Well, it makes me feel even more sorry for those pioneers. So I've decided to see if I can't salvage my dinner. I'm going to try boiling the biscuits. Make it into some kind of a gruel. Here's what I do. I'm going to do. I'm going to break them up into pieces. Put them in water, boil them, see if I can. can't make them worse. So we'll see. Maybe they'll be like little dumplings. I don't know. We'll give it a try. <clears throat> okay, let's see what this stuff looks like. <clears throat> Well, there you have it. Whatever you're having for dinner tonight, no matter what it is, I would trade you. I'm sure there are people somewhere in this world who have nothing who would think this is wonderful. So I shouldn't complain. I actually like the, the charred ones a little bit better. I kind of thought when I boiled them they would just fall apart. But they're still pretty firm.
Well, I've had better.